Right then, boys and girls, I've been asked for this video a countless times and catching up on them. As you probably guessed, you're probably being inundated with them now if you've subscribed and if you haven't, why not? Get clicked on the subscribe. It doesn't actually mean you're paying money to watch. It just means that when I send stuff out, uh, for some reason, it, it does me good. I don't know. I'm not quite sure why, but anyway, please subscribe and like because that's what we're all about. And then you get to see other stuff like this. I think that you've had to click a notification bell for that. But anyway, so we've been asked God knows how many times. Can I get a video of this out? Yes, I will do. But I'm not busy. Good God. Anyway, I'm not busy, so let's get it on. For those of you who don't know, this is a Vespa PX125 70th anniversary. 66 plate bike. And uh, there's the story. Probably best Googling it to get the accurate facts, but I'll give you a bit of it. The Vespas, two strokes, was killed off due to emissions. I think it was about 2010-ish. Don't, don't quote me on years and stuff like that. But anyway, they killed them off and they all went four-stroke. So when they went four-stroke, they lost sales. Um, I can't remember who it was. I think it was LML or somebody like that was building a replica of this, two-stroke, and they were selling better. So Vespa decided, or Piaggio decided that um, they were going to get around the emissions with some fandangleness in the engine. And when they did that fandangleness in 2014, I think it was, they released the two-stroke again for two years till the emissions got it again. And this is the last of. And it's 70th anniversary. It's got all the bits that you want. Look how clean that is. And some extra bits as well. It's got its original bag, which came with these 70th anniversaries. Somewhere on it, it says so. Can't remember where. But anyway, that came with it. Oh, yeah. In the under the strap book there. And obviously the book pack and everything else that came with it as well. 70th anniversary seat. You see there. It's got the rack for that bag. That's a little extra. A little trick cover for the uh, spare wheel. Obviously, that's an extra. The footrest for your passenger. And then you've got the thing there to keep all your goodies in. Bit of water. And your toothpaste and your mobile phone if you go on an holiday. And that one, you've got a little extra um, front rack with another bag that comes with a bike, obviously, as well. A little screen to keep the flies out your teeth. That's an original one. And yeah, fancy kicker as well. It's a great little thing. It really, really is. If you want one of these and you know what the extras cost, some people think, seem to think they're all free. Um, you'll notice exactly what you're getting. There you go, 3,300 kilometers. Can't remember what that worked out to. It's in, in the description of the, um, on the website, which I'll click you, put the link to the website in the um, description below, so you can go and have a look. So, yeah, that's, that's your bike, really. What else can I tell you? It's auto lube as well, so you're not pre-mixing. Underneath the seat, there is a um, oil tank and a petrol tank, so, when you do one, do the other, and you've got a little indication down the bottom to show you when there's oil in it or not. So, there you go. What comes with the bike, I've told you, all the book pack, everything else, both keys, all the other good stuff. It was actually in a collection, um, this bike, ex-British um, GP winner. Those two there were in it as well. So was the uh, Enfield bobber at the back there. It's some wonderful, wonderful bikes and bits and pieces. And the two Piaggio apes that you might see on the website or on our other videos, they also came from the same place. The guy who was passionate about his bikes and cars, enough to race them and do well. And that one there, that was the other one, that was the matching old one, VBB 2T from 1965, 150cc. There, that was that was stood next to this. So what a wonderful thing. What can we do for you? Well, 125 finance company aren't always the happiest about them, but something like this, they may well have a go. So if you want to give us a try for that, Lisa or Scott will walk you through it, see if the monthly figures add up, and then give it a whirl, see if it goes through. Um, so that's the finance side of things. You've got a part X, we've got a part X form on the website, realtoyshop.com, fill that in, get all your information on there and then 
it's dead, dead straightforward and simple. I'll probably want loads of pictures off you because why wouldn't I? You've got videos and pictures of ours, so we need, you know, vice versa. But it's no good ringing up and just asking one of us because we can't just do it off the top of our head. Everyone seems to think we're just going to be able to do that, and you can't. Too many bikes, too many different things, too many variables. Over here, look. Look at that. That's a scooter trailer. It's painted in the same colours as this one and the other one, so if you want to buy a trailer to go with it to do your rallies on, we've got one there. Well, we've got one there for now, unless it goes with the other bike. So, yeah, that's it then. That's us walk around. That's us seen enough. Hopefully you can see how clean the damn thing is. It's ridiculous. It just, it's just every single bit of it. Fancy wheels as well. Everything about this bike is right. Just how you want it. Right then. Let's make it make a noise, eh? So, to do this, I'm going to need a clutch. So where am I going to put you? Where am I going to put you? Are you going to be there? Mm -hmm, maybe. Right, first off, number one, let's get the choke on. Choke on down here. It's already on. Fuel's on. Now, when we go to start this, you will see. I'm going to try and do it. Oh, oh, where am I? Key down there. Turn it on. You don't get dash lights. Fooled me. Anyway, press the button. That's there, by the way. Boom, boom, boom. Off we go. And off she goes. Now you get dash lights. Fooled me. So for that reason, you've got brand new battery in there as well. I thought the battery was dead. But then I read up, and that's not the case. Just clear the throat a little bit. And what you guys aren't getting here. perfume that I'm getting. Sounds awesome. Smells even better. So, there you go. That's your little Vespa, 70th anniversary, PX125. As uh, I said in there, don't think I mentioned delivery, but real toy shop, we've always delivered our bikes for nothing. If you're in a far-flung area of Cornwall, it might not be me, it might be uh, our dedicated delivery thing or Top Scotland or something like that. But failing that, be yours truly in the big crazy crafter. So that's it really, that costs you not a penny. It's free service, absolutely costs you nothing. It's not a postal service, we can't get it there the next day or out like that, but we'll try. Uh, usually it takes us about 10 working days so we can work in with other deliveries and bits and pieces like that. It's free work with us and yeah if you want to see how all that works get on the website all the terms and conditions and all that rubbish and time frames and everything's all on there so get on there make yourself familiar then get on the phone get it bought yeah let's get it in the van and get it to as fast as you can but if you've got to ask your missus ask your missus first or just get it that by that i mean your mother your brother your dad whoever whoever you need to speak to for permission ask first before you ring us up, ask us a thousand questions, then go oh, after asking missus. How boring. Grow a pair, get a bike. So that's that. That's it. How cool does that look? Yeah, on to the next one. Ask your missus first. <laughs>